Hi, this is Tony Sagami. Hey, I want to talk to you about luxury cars this week. You know, most of us heard about the Detroit Auto Show, uh, and it is the biggest event of the year for U.S. automakers, uh, where they showcase their newest lineup and new cars. But the auto show that really attracts a huge crowd and even a bigger uh, market is the annual Shanghai Auto Show. Uh, about 2,000 auto and auto part makers from more than 20 countries uh, gathered in Shanghai. They used up 23,000 square feet of floor space to show off 1,100 different cars, and over 700,000 people attended this show in Shanghai last week. They went there for one reason. China has now overtaken the U.S. as the world's largest auto market, and they did that back in 2009. You know, China's vehicles increased uh, sales by 46% in 2009, and another 32% in 2010 to 18 million cars. Now, that secured China's uh, position as the world's largest auto market and uh, for the second year in a row. And 2011 has been more of the same. You know, a total of 4.98 million cars are sold in just the first three months of 2011. Now, who's selling all these cars in China? Well, take a look at this pie chart. And I think there's very, two very important pieces of information you can take from here. The first is that Volkswagen has a 14% market share. And while there's a lot of inexpensive uh, VWs on the road in China, there's also miles of black luxury auto sedans, which is the preferred uh, luxury car by government officials an older, more mature, wealthy businessman. Audi is produced and owned by Volkswagen. By the way, Audi just sold its one millionth car in China uh, last October, and they expect to sell another million cars within three years. The number two thing to take a look at that pie chart is that 29% that says other. That includes cars from BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, Bentley, Ferrari, and other luxury makers. Now, the luxury ma auto market is so hot, that's growing by 60% per year. For example, BMW and Mercedes sold a combined 102,000 vehicles in just the first three months of this year in China. That's a 76% increase from the year before. So you can see that the market's still very, very hot. Listen to this quote from uh, Klaus Maurer, the president of the China Mercedes-Benz division. Demand outstrips supply for our vehicles. Think about that. Demand outstrips supply for our vehicles. And lastly, I want you to keep in mind that Warren Buffett was so optimistic about the car market in China that he invested $250 million in Chinese automaker BYD Auto. Now, there's three ways of profit from this luxury car boom, and all three of these stocks are listed here in the United States on the pink sheets. The first one is BMW. Uh, the ticker for that is BAMXY.PK, BMW. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the second one would be in Volkswagen itself. And Volkswagen ticker is VLKPY.PK. And lastly, uh, Porsche Holdings, the Porsche luxury cars, of course. This ticker is POAHY.PK. But Porsche has a kicker. Not only is its, its uh, luxury cars selling like hotcakes in China, Porsche also owns 18% of Volkswagen. So you get a little Volkswagen kicker there. Lastly, there's one Chinese auto part maker that's listed on the NASDAQ, SORL Auto Parts. And the ticker is SORL. Now, as always, you need to do your own homework and make sure that these stocks are right for your portfolio. And I would wait for them to go on sale before jumping in. But if you want to take a flyer on that red-hot luxury auto market, these are three stocks to take a look at. Until next week, this is Tony Sagami signing off.